It is a very momentous day today. This is going to be so much fun flying with Mike. Yeah. Oh, great, thank you. First time I've ever seen her at work, and she did just a phenomenal job. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill. This is the Donnellys. This is my husband, Mike. What are you doing today, Michael John? Another day. What should we sell, Jilly? It is, sweetheart. It's going to be a good day today. It is a very momentous day today in my life and our life. Thank you very much. Today, I have finally reached the six-month point in my new flight Yay! attendant thing. And you're on probation for the first six months. So today is my last day of probation. I just need to make it through today, right. and I will be a full-fledged... That would be light? terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. Like, there's all these things that you need to do. Um, well, first of all, there's all these rules that you need to follow as a flight attendant anyway. And sort of all these, like, stipulations. And you have to be here by a certain time. And you have to wear your uniform. There's just a lot, a lot of things. And in your first six months, if you miss any of those things, you get what's called an occurrence. And I, don't even, I didn't really study any of this because I didn't plan on getting any of these. <laughs> and knock on what I didn't. I didn't get any discipline at all disciplinary action um some people in my class did for like i hate to say no fault of their own but like rules that you were like oh shoot i didn't even know that one like that wasn't like we didn't know that one but you know it's all laid out so i guess we're all we're responsible for all of them but anyway um so i've made it now through well today's the day so i have, I have three legs today to fly so hopefully i'll make it all the way through and things will be great and the fun part about it is, is so we're in Baltimore now and I'm starting my trip. My very first flight is to Sarasota and Mike's going to be on it with me. Woo! So Mike gets to fly with me on my last day of probation, right? <laughs> so hopefully he'll, get you in trouble? I was saying, hopefully he'll mind his P's and Q's <laughs> and not do anything that's, you know, that I don't know. Terrible. That would be terrible, Mike. Please mind your P's and I'll Q's. I'll become a problem passenger. <laughs> don't sit in my section then, please. The guy please. in 17 C's has got <laughs> exactly. to go back to the gate. Terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. So please, please be a, you know. I'll behave. Please behave, absolutely. So Mike's gonna try to get some video of me on the plane so you guys can see sort of like what my day looks like and what I look like when I'm flight attending. Um, if he can't, then you'll just have to come out and fly with me. So please come out, you guys, fly so I can be your flight attendant. I wanna meet all of you and serve all of you. So uh, there we go. So we're gonna head into the parking garage now and see you in there. so much fun flying with Mike. He flies all the time, so he knows exactly what's going on, but it'll be fun um, having his as a passenger. I hope he gets to sit in my section. Um, I think I might have already mentioned that, but we'll see, because he is flying non-rev back home, which means that he's the last person on, he's flying standby, um, but there's plenty of seats, but he'll probably be the last person on the plane. This is where my journey begins on every trip. I have to check in a half an hour before boarding begins and then I get to go on the plane first and make sure it's all clean and ready to go, do all my emergency checks. Uh, at this time, we had already boarded the plane. Mike was sitting in the emergency exit row, which is my section because I was the sea flight attendant on this flight. And I'm giving the emergency briefing for all those folks that are sitting in the emergency exit rows in case we had an emergency and we needed to put them into action. So it's FAA mandated and I have to get everybody's agreeance um, that they meet all the selection criteria. 
And then this is our emergency briefing that we do for the whole aircraft. And this is, of course, the one you've heard this one. That's in, in a case of a water evacuation, please use the light vest under your seat. Remove the vest only if told to do so. To remove the vest, open the container and remove the pouch. Put Place the vest over your head. All that. So that's what we're doing here. So since I'm the C flight attendant, I'm standing at the front of the aircraft. And then I have to go through and do my check and make sure that everybody has their seatbelt on. And that their tray tables are up. All that stuff. And then it's time for service. I'm asking Mike what he would like, and he's not talking very loud, but he ordered a can of Diet Coke. So I got his order, and I was trying really hard at this point to not only like take care of him, but also not let any of the passengers around, passengers around know that I was like partial to him because I you know what I mean it was a little like uncomfortable but I think the next time I find so much more comfortable now especially this was my last day of probation as I said I'm so much more comfortable now as a flight attendant that I would absolutely be fine like being a little bit more overtly friendly to Mike um on the aircraft if that makes sense or maybe letting some passengers know oh, this is my husband you know he'll take good care of you or I'll you know whatever whatever I don't know something like that but anyway this is one of my favorite things that we do and it's serve and um it's basically just taking care of passengers asking what they want how, how we can help them basically drinks and snacks that kind of stuff this was the best part of this flight so this woman was visibly scared during the whole takeoff process she was like visibly scared and I could see her from where I was sitting in my jump seat. So I wanted to go over and talk with her and make sure that she was doing okay. Was there anything I could do for her? Well, she was all smiles and talks while we were in the sky because we were very um, smooth. And she was saying that it's her second time flying in her whole life. Her husband and daughter had, it was their first time flying and they weren't as nervous as her, but also they were going to Disney World for her daughter's 11th birthday. So since it was her first time flying, they were taking her to Disney. So I called her up front and I had the whole plane sing happy birthday to her. Now I had to um, blur out her face here because we have to have permission from passengers if we show them on video obviously and I didn't ask a little um the little girl I want to tell you her name but I'm not going to um for her permission to be filmed but this was such a fun thing and everybody clapped it was awesome and she felt so special so by the end of the flight I had made very good friends with this family and there's her mom right there giving me a hug as they are deplaning and she made it just fine I did not get to see them on the flight home but I'm sure she did sure she did well and I'm sure they had a great time at Disney and the, this lady was so nice to me and she was telling me that how nice it was to sing the happy birthday song so that was really fun I gave Mike a kiss goodbye which is a funny story I'll tell you about that later okay that was Jilly uh, being a flight attendant she did a great job it was so fun to have uh, Welcome to the Sarasota her as my flight attendant it was the first time I've ever seen her at work and she did just a phenomenal job she is uh we used to say at Disney, she's uh, perfectly cast for her role in the show. So she did a great job. Uh, she was just, she's got the smile. She's got the interaction with the passengers. Uh, we're just deep playing and she's hugging people. <laughs> so really proud of her. She looks really great in her uh, uniform too. And um, just uh, happy that she's happy. So thanks Southwest. And thanks for the ride. I'm editing this video. I wanted to tell you this funny story that I told you about earlier. So as people are deplaning, there are a few passengers that stayed on the aircraft because they are through passengers going to our next destination with us. So I'm cleaning the plane and I come back through and this couple that was sitting across from Mike says to me, hey, I couldn't help but notice that you gave that man a little special attention. And it's funny because I was trying not to give him special attention, but clearly at the end of the flight, I did give him a kiss, which I think is what they meant by special attention. I just laughed and I said, you know, I really don't kiss all the passengers passengers, but that was my husband. So they were so sweet. We had a great conversation. They were going to visit their, I think their grandsons. I just finished my three day trip. I hope you guys enjoyed watching what it was like on the plane. I know it wasn't very long um, and we had to blur out some things, but it was sort of an uh, insight into what it looks like when I'm on the plane. Now I wasn't the A flight attendant, so I didn't do all the announcements, but nevertheless, it was fun to see Mike um, on the plane and I cannot wait to fly my family. It'd be so much fun. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Please post any of your, your uh, flight attendant questions down in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. Fly happy.